Houston, our instruments are showing that we have a incoming message from deep space. Repeat, Houston, we have an incoming message from deep space. Houston, we'll begin playing message now. Houston, we're going to try and translate that up here. Hold for translation. Translation complete. We'll begin playing message now. Hey, it's me, Melissa. What do you do when the aliens invade? Take a shot of MK Ultra and watch Melissa Jade. Put on your tinfoil hat and tune right in. We got that crime spree, flat earth theories, government conspiracies, a complex Mandela effects, unidentified optics, a mind expanding, fake moon landing, where it all bends understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Aliens is on the sun, or in Area 51. Time travels, unravels, haunted castles, cops are baffled, books, and experimental thoughts that make you transcendental. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Crime streets, flatter theories, government conspiracies, complex Mandela effects, unidentified objects, a mind expanding, fake moon landing, what it all that's understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Oh, no. Rapper, chill. Don't start your shit. Hello, hello. Hey, Trio Girl Mom. Thank you for being a member for four months. Thanks for all that you do, MJ. Well, thank you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. So happy to see you guys. Thank you for your support. Hello, Snapdragon, Nana Banana, Natasha, CMD, Loki, Lil Red, Pointer Lover. Oh, yes. Hi, Angel D, Catherine Sealer, Aries, Anna Cassis, Harlot People Me, Debbie Doodles, Jen, Blue, Amanda. Hello, Rapper, <laughs> Mindy, Tony, um, Miller, Mrs. M. <laughs> Chase is on the case, Grandma CC, Shea Benet, Destination, Lady V, Hippie Chick Michelle, Carrie Bath, Forgets and Shagles, Melanie, Carol Clark, Monica. Hi, Monica. We have, let me see, We Gob Shite, Dog Mom. It's nice to see you again. Hello, beautiful chum. Hanging in there. We've gone through. Her. Oh, no. Please be safe. Please, please be safe. Snapdragon, we have Artemis Prime, Hungry Nurse, Shiny Pop Star, Mima, Becky P, Leslie, Beach Lover, Julian, You Are Still Green, Creative Minds, Crystal, Angel D, Cool Gamer, Keith, Oof, keep on going. Punksy. Crime Crochet Cafe. All right, I'm just going to jump back down because it keeps going. It keeps going. But hi, guys. How are you guys? How how was your weekend? I know, right? So many individual tags. Uh, we appreciate having you here, Dog Mom. Hello, family gal. I did. They were gorgeous, Jeep girl. 
gorgeous. Alexander, I got a few Eclipse photos. They were awesome. Hi, Musicity Mom. All the best people. Mia B. Okay. So, oh, okay. I'm wishing you the best, Aries. Hope everything goes well. Um, Grace B. Melissa, please Google side eye wiener dog and put that picture up whenever Leticia says a lie. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Let me. Hi, Pepper. Hey, MK. Let me side. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Wiener dog. I know what you're talking about. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Let me see. Let me see. I know which one you're talking about. Wait. Like this one? <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you guys. Hi, Starlight Angel. Doing the side eye. <laughs> it's so cute. So cute. <laughs> is it it looks like you're coughing now. like do i usually give you a cough <laughs> that's just for you angel day <laughs> or it's a scream i don't know i know right miller may as well just leave it on the entire time because tisha just is always lying hi Catherine. um Dude, I, I had to tell my friends about that today and they were like, are you serious? <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed, but I am. Well, happy birthday to me. Shit, though. I'm skipping ahead seven years. That's, that's uh, depressing. But everyone wish me a very happy 40th birthday tomorrow. I know, Natasha. I love the Tisha crew. I, Megan, you're funny. I wasn't on time. Technically, yes, but only after pushing it twice. So, like, does that count? Does that count? I don't know. Like, I just accurately pushed it to where, <laughs> uh, where I wouldn't be live. Uh, or wouldn't be late. Sorry, I was reading. Well, happy 62nd. I know, right, Harley? <laughs> no, she's not playing her lover. Um, yeah. I have a second channel, Keith. I just don't post anything from it. Um, but it's there if I ever need a backup. Um, so you could subscribe if for some reason I need somewhere to go. That's where I would go. It's called Jade's Coven. Okay. So, well, thank you, Samantha. A happy 40th to me. All right. So I've been really loving the pickup and t-shirt call. Um, and yesterday, we listened to the first call with Amy Lang, okay? And you guys know Amy Lang, okay? You know Amy Lang. And so now... I think we start with a Harley call, but then we're going to be listening to the Aunt Brenda call. And we haven't heard Letitia and Aunt Brenda have communication since the whole Mark from Myrtle Beach with Toyota and manipulating and causing a huge falling out between Harley and Aunt Brenda again. And Harley's not getting the car now. Just a whole bunch bunch of baloney that wasn't necessary, but then Tisha acted angry with Aunt Brenda. So I've been waiting to see how it would be once they did another call. Um, who do an interview with me, Megan? No, it was somebody who's just trolling who said my birthday is tomorrow. I'm not turning 40. My goodness. <laughs> I, please slow it down. Slow it down. No. Um, they were just trolling and they said, my birthday is tomorrow and I'm turning 40. So may as well just celebrate. Hi, Smile. Hey, Shacto. Hello, Michelle. 
<laughs> yes, we know what Aunt Brenda looks like. Do you not know what Aunt Brenda looks like, Carol? Do you need me to show you? I could show you if you need me to show you. Anybody who doesn't know what Aunt Brenda looks like while I'm getting this up. Hold on. Yeah, I think we're starting with, let me see, Amy Lang. Okay, yeah, that we have Harley and then Aunt Brenda. Okay. Okay, sure. Hold on. Let me let me pull up good old Aunt Brenda. All right. You media files. Here we go. I think I have her right. Here she is. There she is. All right. You ready for this? And then this is her mom. I'll show you guys her mom too. Okay. And don't forget, guys, tomorrow is Monday. So we will be having our members only Monday live. Okay. I pull this up. Let me take the wiener dog off. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So this is Letitia's mom. Deborah Locklear, if you're interested, which Tisha does look like her. A lot of similarities. Oh, who would who would I interview if I could interview anyone? Is that your question, Megan? Thank you, Debbie Doodles. Debbie Doodles just gifted a membership. Congratulations to the recipient. Please thank Debbie Doodles if you were lucky enough to get it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Nene. So that is her mom. And then we have Aunt Brenda. Now I have a couple of photos of Aunt Brenda and in every photo, she looks like a different person. Debbie Doodles again. Thank you, Debbie Doodles. Just gifted a number of the membership. Thank you so much. And congratulations to the recipient. Shay. Oh my goodness. Shay just gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, Shay. Congratulations, all of our new members. Please make sure to thank Shay Benay in the chat. If you just received one from her or for Debbie, please make sure to thank them. Uh, show them some love. That is so beyond generous. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Um, like I said, if you're new here, we do members only Monday uh, every week. Um, it's open to the public. If you can't afford a membership, you'll still be able to view it, but the chat is exclusive to members only. So congratulations. We're so happy to have you part of the channel. Thank you so much uh, to Shay and Debbie. Hey, Meat Feeds. Hi, Tiffany. We have, Tiffany, I swear, like the most generous community. We really do. Um, this Tisha crew is very tight. I will say that. Debbie Doodles. Oh my goodness. Debbie. Debbie just gifted five more memberships. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you so much, Debbie Doodles. You're amazing. Um, <laughs> MK, you know what I noticed? MK, hi, Jinx. Um, you know what I noticed? I noticed that um, usually like the older generation, when they've had a haircut consistently, they'll never change it. Like I've had an aunt who has had the ha same hairstyle consistently since I could remember. Okay. So I think it's just like, once you're in it, you'll never grow out of it. Abellus, Abellus just gifted five memberships. You guys are so beyond generous. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so very much. <laughs> I'm tripping over my words now. Thank you so very much. Congratulations to all of our new members. Thank you so much, Abellus. That's so, so very kind. Um, you guys are amazing. Your mom did that 2.0 lover? Yeah. Like, I feel like, yeah, this is Aunt Brenda, Braddy. Um, and here, I'll give you guys another one. This is Aunt Brenda. Don't be confused. It's the same person. I don't know 
why she looks different in every photo, but she does. See, my Riley says my <laughs> my aunt wore a mullet until like 2005. Yes, it's something a little bit with the older generation. Uh, once they have like a unique, and I'm, it's more of a unique style. It's never just like long, straight hair, right? If they have like the bangs and like the frayed out hair on top, it stays there forever. They never not get a different hairstyle. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, don't Angel D. You made my heart go. Stop it. Do you, Saffron? I look different in every pic, too. That's funny. I know, Sunday. Hey, it's not rocket science. The glamour shop photos are funny. Like, but Aunt Brenda would. I feel like, you know, Aunt Brenda would. She works hard, but she plays hard. You know what I mean? Um, so here, let's keep going. Yes, same person. Okay, Jinx. Thanks for stopping in. Yes. A beehive. Yeah, she's not, she's good looking for her age. You know, I'm not, I'm not knocking her. Um, but she looks different in every photo. But to be fair, I don't know how far between each i know when this photo was taken this was um oh crap where'd it go well i think this was around 2020 ish if i could remember um i know i know i get it carrie beth trust me it's not i pictured more of uh leticia's mom look not aunt brenda's actual look I'm confused by these pics. Hey, Pisa. And we have, this is 2019. Tisha <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> yeah, she's almost, she doesn't look bad. You know, like she she's an older woman now. But uh, I like this hair. I, I do like this haircut. It looks good on her. Hey, Legendary, my deepest apologies. Does she look like your aunt? Just bring the wiener back. Stop it. Hi, Kaleido. Yeah, I think... Yeah. So... The glamour shot. She looks a little bit different in each one. But to be fair, when you know, when women change their hair, it could make you look drastically different. No. And 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 um the jewelry that she wears reflects on her culture, like it's a cultural thing. Um but you can see her nails are did. Hey grateful mama, her nails are did. Um it's the glamour shots are just funny. I don't have one of Aunt Katrina Beach Lover, even though I, I picture Aunt Katrina. It's funny. It's funny how your brain envisions something, right? I picture Aunt Katrina a blonde, crinkled, cur like uh, crunchy, crink crinked hair, like not full curls, like a shorter crink. I'm not saying not kink, kinky hair, not crink. Oh my gosh. Um, taller, medium size with like a red sweater. Don't ask me why I got that specific, but that's just how I imagine her sitting on a couch with a bunch of kids, like kind of running around, um, tired of Tisha's shit. That's how I imagine. You put your hair black. Blue. It's my imagination. Okay. I've listened to many of these calls. All right. <laughs> okay. So let me pull. So this one, it starts with Harley and then it's going to move on to Aunt Brenda. And I'm excited. And a cigarette in pink stretch pants. <laughs> You guys crack me up. Uh, 
Please say breakfast for me. I think it's so cute the way it makes me giggle. I say a lot of words uh, wrong. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, hi, I love me some him. Definitely a cigarette in his eye. Simply complex. You guys crack me up, man. <laughs> no, I think I think Aunt Brenda's more of a plastic on the furniture type versus Aunt Katrina. Okay, hi, Cindy. So, oh, interesting, Snapdragon. So, um, Jen Lou's awesome, Riley. Uh, what's it called? So it picks up. This is Harley. So let me grab the date. The date of this would be the day after Amy. Okay. So this is Harley on February 25th at 10.37 a.m. Hey, Linda. Thank you for having Global Telling. Hi, beautiful. Hey. I still can't set your meeting. I know. I'm sorry. I forgot to call them. It's okay. I just reminded you. I had it. So Harley answers that phone. Hey, Karen. Harley answer that, answers that phone saying, hey, beautiful. And I never hear Letitia say that to her, right? Make sure that you're opted in. I love me some him. Um, because unfortunately, Letitia is very competitive with Harley. And Harley really represents everything that she is. And even when she's talking to Harley about how skinny she is. She's like, you know, you get it from me. You know, we're just small. And I'm not saying Tisha's big, like the way Aunt Brenda did, but like, she's not huge, but you're not tiny and small framed like Harley. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like she is competitive. So I never hear you say to her, Hey, beautiful, you know, schedule a big event for the same time. Just forgot. You had to schedule what? Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey, it jumped. Hold on. Hi, no, I'm sorry. I forgot to call them. It's okay. I just reminded you. I had a schedule a big event for the same. I totally just forgot. You had a schedule what? Hey, K Breeze. I said I had to do this big open house event. I had to uh -oh. schedule and I had to call everybody. Oh, okay. yeah, I understand. Did you finish it? Yeah, I'm waiting on two of the people to call me back today. Oh, um, so I can get pricing and stuff. But other than that, I'm going to have to make a flyer and post it and stuff. So. Nice, nice. Well, um, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Thanks for oh, watching. <laughs> Um, I got one of I got one thing, but they didn't do my fast, so they just gave me this coronavirus relief fund. It's like a thousand dollars, but they haven't done everything else. So I'm still waiting on it. Oh, you're still like pending on that. I mean, it's approved. You're just waiting on. It. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's yeah, Harley's bad service, fund? not you. Yeah, the school got like a million dollars or something, and. They're giving it to students that need money or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. No crazy today, Tisha? Mm -hmm. Can't you email me today? Who? And Brenda. Oh, go. What she say? She literally said, "I just wanted, I just wanted you to know that I'm doing well, okay." Please keep. In context, yesterday, we were listening to Harley explain how Aunt Brenda, and sorry, um, was recovering from abdominal surgery. I think it was a tummy tuck, but then Aunt Brenda also threw out, I guess, to somebody something about cancer. Either way, she's recovering from abdominal surgery and she 
has feces on her. Like she had, like there was someone who needed to help clean her off. What infuriates me is not only are you treating the woman like shit that has completely maintained both of you financially and provided a roof over your head, whether I like her or not, she's kept you both afloat. You didn't even, you focused more on destroying Harley and Brenda's relationship versus advocating for Harley to go and help take care of her. She lives alone. She's on her own. But no, you guys were kind of chuckling about how she has poop all over her. And that is a serious concern. Okay. Any, any fecal matter near incision sites, she is an older woman. She needs help. For someone who's taking care of you both, instead of talking crap, why don't you go and help her? So I just want you guys to keep that as context because when Harley says, oh, Aunt Brenda reached out, Letitia's like, oh, oh, what did she say, right? With an attitude. But the next call is going to be to Aunt Brenda. So let's listen to the difference. She literally said... I just wanted I just wanted you to know that I'm doing okay. I had my surgery and still healing from the cut. Look your hand when things call me when you can so you can catch up with how I they're doing. I want I wanted to be like you blocked me, lady, but I just didn't answer. <laughs> She's watching like she like, Oh, I didn't know I don't know how to block people I did I didn't do that. I know, that is what she was saying. Could be what she says for sure. But just not gonna even deal with that. And grandma got COVID. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. So she's at home. I know she already had the one that she used Oh god. This is awkward. Do you need do you need anything? I hear I clicking. Oh, the fish. What, huh? is that? what is that clicking? I don't know. Yes, you do. What clicking? Oh, I thought you heard that. Doom, doom, doom. No. Do you need anything, bro? No. I just... Now, keep in mind, she had a court case a couple of days ago in context to this to these calls. Hi, my snot rocket. Um, do you think there's open communication whatsoever? Do you think they're going to mention, hey, mom, what happened at court? Uh, the family's telling me that you're planning on going pro se, that you're going to represent yourself. Like what's no, never, which is also very sad um, that Harley didn't have any idea what was actually going on in this case. Her mom's telling her that she was innocent. But as we go through all this time, never once is Letitia communicating with Harley anything going on anything. So she has to hear that you're, you're going through the motions of getting rid of your lawyers to go pro se, skipping preliminary hearing that like, that's why they just talk about nothing. You're, you're listening to Harley walk up the steps because they have nothing to talk about. You. <laughs> Besides that, <laughs> If I was Not there, I could take chance. You don't have to worry about him stressing me out. Not to take her on a walk right now. Is it 72 degrees today? 72? Well, that's good. 72, you know. Um, oh, man. Well, it's not here. It's snow on the ground again. <laughs> There's snow on the ground? Yeah, it just snowed again. <laughs> like yesterday, I was it yesterday, or right day before yesterday, I had to I had to walk over to a phone call and I got to walk outside for like ten seconds, 
and it was like 60 degrees. And then they were like, oh, don't worry, it's going to snow. And then sure enough, there was snow everywhere. Now, see, and I, I totally respect all opinions. Um, Destination, I, I agree with you, and then I don't agree with you at the same time. Sometimes, yes, Aunt Brenda does it to herself. All the times, no. Um, and we listened, the last call with Aunt Brenda, we listened to Letitia talk to Harley, talk to Aunt Brenda, then talk to Harley again. And she completely lied to one another about what the other one was saying and doing. And it caused this blow up this time. And for Harley not to get the car back and and because she's a lying mess who does not want Harley to have good relationships with anyone. But yes, Aunt Brenna is not perfect and she has her issues. But if she is the one who is providing everything financially to you and your child, you either shit or get off the pot. If you don't want to deal with her, then you don't want to deal with her all the time. You don't accept a thousand dollars a month from her. Or you continue to accept the support and then you put in effort when she needs help, you help. That's how it should be. I just wonder how Harley and Aunt Freda's relationship would be if Letitia didn't manipulate the shit out of them and lie to them. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been seventy two for like the last like two days or so. So I've been like yeah, I outside because I'm like oh. It helps the breathing too. Yeah. Yeah, what I else? No, you Lady, come here. You still haven't moved? No. No, still gotta clean it. No, still clean it. Nope. Still have time. You said you had time? Yeah. Why change what? Um, Love Shack. Hi, baby. Hi, Yeah, what about my book? Can you hear us? Huh? What do you think? Could you hear her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, baby. We're going to walk. <laughs> they didn't know how to act yesterday when I took them outside and it was warm. They probably like, oh, yay. Oh, I know they're like confused. Like, like, just let me lay out here and roll around. Are you asking about Al and Letitia's home? It wasn't a mess. It wasn't, it was a lived in home. It didn't look any uh, more cluttered or anything than a normal home, in my opinion. I could show you guys because the body cam does a walkthrough. Um, now, she likes to portray herself as OCD and, and no, I, I would not describe her house as that at all. But I wouldn't also describe it as chaotic and all over the place. It it looked normal in my opinion. I know City City was just chilling outside yesterday on this map. Right. Oh man. I mean, I don't know. I need huh? some I need some good like well we have to go so long. From eating dinner to breakfast. 
Mm-hmm. And if I eat, and then sometimes I don't eat dinner, mm-hmm. and then, well, a lot of times I don't eat dinner, but yeah, it's and it's like 18 hours, but then when you get breakfast, it's like, you waited so long, you're just still hungry. <laughs> Bridge, you um, ate you know, my like grits and all that stuff. Do they, get, do they give you drinks often? No, we don't get drinks. <laughs> drink water. I have to stick it. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I have to stick it. <laughs> if you're a member, drop those Sarah Boone spigots in the chat. I... I'm laughing so hard internally because she's drinking out of this spigot boon style, yo. Oh my God, that's funny. But Disha, like this is, she's just on repeat with everyone. We don't care how many hours you have to go between eating. Like you get three hots and a cot. You get more than our veterans get. So shut up, eat your grits. You somehow gained a miraculous lot of weight at trial, so you're doing fine. Yeah, like you just out of your sink. Out of your sink. Out of your what? Like out of your sink. Just water out of your sink. They don't give you water bottles? No, girl. (laughs) Oh, Harley. They don't give you Evian (laughs) or Fiji? Oh, my God. (laughs) Now, they can have um, a water fountain thing type attached to the top. Like, it, I I think it depends. It varies from the gels. But, no, they do not give you Fiji or Evia or any water bottle, uh, as far as I know. But it just also shows the lack of communication, really. Tisha choose to talk about God only knows what, just how long she's gone since she's eaten. Harley, there's a real disconnect happening. What are you think? No Pellegrino? <laughs> oh, all of them. That's crazy. Yeah, and then like it's the same the same meals, like every like it just alternates with like the same selections. And then lunch is the same every day. It's some kind of meat that I'm not going to eat. And then bread. It's usually moldy and moist and yeah, no. I don't know. And then I don't I don't believe that. Now I know they will give you the bare minimum. They will give you the it's actually very precise. They will give you the exact caloric intake that you need to survive. So I'm not sitting here saying oh, it's any delicious food going. No, no, no. It's exactly what your body needs to survive. Um, But moldy bread, no, because that's a fucking lawsuit. And that is a liability. So I don't believe that. Um, Yeah. (laughs) And then, like, it'd be either a case of rotate oatmeal, grits, cream of wheat, oatmeal, grits, cream of wheat. And then lunch is meat every day, every single day, meat, carrots, chips. And then, <laughs> and then dinner is just, it rotates in my, it'll be like macaroni. But then like the aren't, but aren't I allowed to send you something? No, uh uh-uh. Not in my ward. I thought, um, I'm never, I can't get none of it in here. Come here, baby. Come on, Sadie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lady yesterday was like, oh, my God, if we get any skinnier. It's <laughs> like, oh, whoa. <laughs> what? No. No. No, Tisha. There wasn't somebody in your ward who said to you, oh, my God, you can't get any skinnier. Nobody said that to you. You never lost weight. You only gained weight. Now, you didn't gain weight right away, but you did ultimately gain weight. Do we need to pull up the kite where the own kiosk put you in your place? Ain't nobody go up to you and say, oh my God, be careful. You can't, you're just skin and bones. 
That did not happen. She lies to herself. Oh, yeah, I know. You're going to be my size. I know. I know. I'm so tiny and frail. Poor me. Look at me. She's not going to be your size, Harley. Don't inflate her ego like that. That's what she wants. But again, reality versus Letitia's reality is two very different things. Hey, baby. Baby, where's your friend go? Your friend's right here, baby. Can't take your brain. Can't take your salvation. Shut up. There's a little, like, American... There's, like, an American bulldog that stays, um... A few houses down from us. Mm -hmm. And Sadie, like, loves him. I love him. I want to take him for myself. Aww. He's, like, a... He's, like... He should look more like Chance. Yeah, it, he looks like Chance, but he's like, see, I think this is where I went wrong for choosing my dog. <clears throat> Sadie, you're not going to pull me. No. Just walk by my side. Come here. Just walk by my side. Um, Because he, he looks like, he looks like Chance, but like not really. But he's like a skinnier, like, like more strong version of Chance. Skinny. He's not like the fat. Huh? He's skinnier? Yeah, he's not like the fat version. He's like as skinny as in bulky. Oh, yeah. Like strong. Okay. He's like strong. But he's still like little like Sadie's size. Like as far as like height and like width and stuff. But then that's the difference because he's American. Not yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he would be more, uh, his bone structure would be different and he'd be more fit. Yeah. The reason why I think there's just so many issues with me and Chance <laughs> is because since he has Beagle in him, he doesn't have, like, the bulldog hair. So, like, his hair mom is so thick. So when I, like, sweep, I literally can, like, make a whole new him with his hair that comes off every single day. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I, I know the dogs, certain dogs can shed a lot. And it's true. Like, like with, at least with like a golden retriever, you could create a whole new golden retriever if you brush them and the hair that comes out. But these are things that you know before you get the dog. But I give Harley slack because she wasn't supposed to ever take on both the dogs on her own. So again, a little slack. But this is research you do prior to getting them. Like, it's not like Sadie's hair. Sadie's hair is really thin. And like you, like you can't ever tell when her hair is anywhere because it doesn't fall out like his. But yeah. since he has beagle and his hair is so thick, and no other bulldog has thick hair like he does. Yes, and it's the got that orange color on too. Yeah. When I tell you, I sleep every day, and I can make a whole new him with his hair. Like I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah. Well, these are lessons you learned because I told you that about the jeep. You didn't look. You wouldn't listen to me. You told me this about what? I told you this about the Jeep, right? And then you wouldn't listen to me, right? I know. And then I tried to tell you this about the dog when I was showing you other dogs. Yeah, you wouldn't listen, right? But, but I like Sadie. I, but I never. But you never. But Sadie was the pick that we picked. Out. <laughs> like but I, I like even tried. To, but I even tried to show you like they had another little. The dog that had other little Boston Terriers. I was like, oh, what about these little cute little tiny ones? And you were like, hey. Is it dog? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tyler told me y'all were coming down. <laughs> no. You know Tisha's mad right now. She's jealous. She's jealous. She doesn't, like, you could tell she doesn't want to hear Harley thrive and giggle and laugh with a guy and because she's sitting there and you'll never get that. Fuck, even when you were out, you didn't get that. But she doesn't sit there and, and have peace in her heart knowing that, like, oh, my child laughing, right? For her, 
she gets angry. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, it's good seeing you. Which dog do they play with? Sadie. Hi, Hannah. What? Good, how are you? Oh, all the residents, you know, and me bother me when I'm walking around. <laughs> That's part of living there, working there. No. Oh my gosh, Sadie's trying to lay in the grass. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. My God. What does she do? Oh my gosh, she sees like the actual real gla gla grass is coming out and she's like playing in it and she's sticking her head in it. Oh, because it's about time for it to grow back. Yeah, like it's like the really green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Baby, come on. Let's go. Come on. It's funny. You have one minute remaining. Oh, that was a call worth raising units on. Alrighty, well, it's gonna hang up. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Alright, I love you so much. I love you too. Okay, bye. Bye. Those are their calls. Like, that's. With such a massive court date within the week and you trying to go pro se, you would think that this is like you would talk about this, acknowledge it. Nothing. Just the weather and the dogs. It's the same call every day. Every fucking day. But she turns around and she calls Aunt Brenda. the same day so she hangs up and now she's gonna call aunt brenda even though just ugh, what did she want now keep in mind aunt brenda again just got surgery major surgery and the last we heard was that she even you know struggling as far as keeping herself clean she needs help she's an older woman i know malicious just one call just one call um so I like to keep that in context as far as what her attitude and tone will be, but there hasn't been communication since the whole, I'll give you $400 a month. I have a friend in Myrtle Beach who's willing to hook Carly up with a car and then got them to fight, okay? Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey, baby. Hey, you doing okay? How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm sore, but I'm doing all right. Are you? you yeah, I had to have, yeah, I had to have some surgery done. And, um, I went Tuesday. It didn't last Tuesday, and I went back Tuesday, this past Tuesday, and they took one of the drainage tubes out. And then I got to go back this coming Tuesday to try to take the other drainage tubes out. And I'm just sore. I can't even clean my own stinking room. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm having it kind of tough right now. Goodness. Yeah, so. I thought you were going to wait on it. I, I couldn't wait on this surgery. I thought, I thought it was just a tummy tuck. No, this surgery was just something. Kind of, kind of like a tummy tuck, but it weren't a tummy tuck. Uh, I had stomach. Oh. Tell nobody because it's nobody's business but mine. Everyone laughing, thinking she got a tummy tuck, and it wasn't a tummy tuck. But I mean, you were talking shit about her, weren't you? You and Harley laughing, talking shit, and it wasn't a tummy tuck. 
something serious, right? She kept it to herself. It's just really sad, yes. And Letitia, instead of, I don't care what issues are going on, you know, go over there and help her. No, you just sat there and talked crap about her and encouraged your daughter to not give a crap. Well, why didn't you tell anybody? No for it, Shalina. You could have told me. You know what? I didn't want I don't want you to worry about me. Well, why not? You're not supposed to. Hey, you got enough on your plate right now. Okay, and that's fine, but that doesn't mean that I don't care about you and worry about you. I know you care about me, but I just I just I I just kept it to myself. But Amy Brenda, you're really all I have left from my family, so I don't like you keep that from me. Meanwhile, just yesterday, when talking to Amy, she said the only per people I want to know my business is you and Miss Didi or whatever. And I specifically said, you're not even going to include Aunt Brenda? Aunt Brenda, who has been doing everything, keeping your child okay? So you sitting there and be like, you're the only one I have left. This is manipulation. Because you're saying that to each person individually. But not to one another. Aunt Brenda was so worried about stressing you out because you've got a lot on your plate. Meanwhile, no, what you've done makes everyone else have a lot on their plate. And it's really sad. Well, I kept it to myself. I, I've done the best I could. And I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. So what are they and saying about? Well, when you get the tubes and stuff out of me, the other dreams tube and stuff out of me. He's going to let me rest for a few weeks. Yeah. I got four holes in my back. They had drill four holes in my back. Mm. And that Julie came over. God knows I love her to death. Lord have mercy. Now we know. The reason she got emotional, we know, because Julie spoke to Harley and said she has stomach cancer. You know, she literally had feces on her. Like, I had to help her clean up. And then Harley's like, what? No, she just got a tummy tuck. Da -da 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 -da. And then Harley relays that to Letitia. And they all just talk shit. But I'm assuming Aunt Preda may have got emotional there. And maybe she'll clarify. But when you're that vulnerable and somebody helps you and sees you that vulnerable, like it may make you emotional, right? Because nobody wants to get cleaned up from that, you know? Um, but they all just talk crap. I messed on myself the bad Sunday. I couldn't clean myself up. Julie came over and cleaned me up. I made a mess on myself and I couldn't clean myself up. And Julie, that's see? It's not easy being vulnerable and not able to do something for yourself. Where was Harley? Letitia, why wouldn't you have your child go and make sure she's okay? You say she's the only one you have left in your family, yet you were talking shit about her. Thank you. That's good. I told Julie, I said, Julie, I love you to death, but baby, you got heavy hands. I said, you can't, you can't. <laughs> yeah. You can't manhandle me, baby. You got heavy <laughs> hands. I know the little bitch. She's angry, and I can't help it. I said, I know you can't, baby. I said, God knows your hands are heavy. Yeah. Uh, so she come and she cleaned me up for me. I was really, 
glad to see her now. I ain't no lie. Yeah. But, um. That's good. I'm just sore. I'm just, I'm just sore. And he told me I was going to be sore for a while. So I'm walking with a, I got me a stick um, that I've been helping me walk. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get around by myself and cook for myself and do for myself. And I wish I could help you, Aunt Brenda. I, I just, I just, I'm not going to even worry about it anymore. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I, I was looking a while ago outside at the yard and stuff that needs to be done around here. I just, I can't do it anymore. I might have to let this place go to Shalyn. Well, I told you that a long time ago, <laughs> but I know you have a, you know, I know, but I'm just saying it. I'm, I'm just going to have to let this place go. I can't, I can't keep, I'm, I'm just stressed out with it. Yeah, I told you that too. Both two, you're not even happy being there. Well, no. So I'm, I'm, I'm. All your friends and everything, like you don't, you need to be like somewhere where you got a community of people like that are your age. I could do stuff, and I mean, well, I know you got some I, people, but I'm saying, like, you know, I just feel like doesn't need to be. Why would I have to get someone my age? Yeah, not, not your age, but like you, you're not your. Yeah, no, 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 no. I would have been offended by that too. What she needs to be in a fucking senior center. She's still working. If you cared that much about her when she said, "Hey, hey, darling, I can't afford to keep paying Harley's full rent and everything, and your commissary," you know what you should have done, right? Let me try to take that load off. But instead, you told Harley pick a nicer area. Because I could squeeze another $200 a month out of Aunt Brenda. That's what you said. But now you want to stuff her in a home or in a little community. But she's fine to work all damn day to make the money for you and your child, right? Your age number, but like people who are doing things that you can do more your age than most people can their your age. What I'm saying is like, you need some people who are out doing stuff, the same thing that you can do. Most people your age, it can't do as much as you can do. You know what I mean? You've been able to. No, like, but I still, I did a lot. I mean, I did good. You know, that's what, what I mean? said. You're for your age. You do better than most people your age. It just hit me all at once. The world it didn't hit me all in time. I knew all about this year boy before Tommy got sick. Tommy knew about it before he got sick. But then you probably made it worse by waiting. Well. But you had to, you were taking care of Uncle Tommy. Yep. Tommy was my priority. I know. I know. Ain't been I got somebody. I got somebody that's going to be coming in a couple months. And if the Lord's willing and if it's his will, I'll have somebody here to help me get rid of everything here and get rid yeah. of everything. And I'm I'm going to move back. I think I think I'll move back to Texas with them. That's probably the best thing too, because I know that's what you want. Yeah, he's military and he's a surgeon, so yeah, get it, MP. Um, that's what I'm. That's what that's what we're, right now. That's what that's our plan. Yeah, that's that's our plan right now. So he said once he got home and stuff like that and got here, he go ahead and about getting rid of everything here at the house and get situated where I could just move from here. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. He, he, he said I didn't need to find a shift like that. I agree with yeah. you 100%, Brenda. I've always told you that about living there anyway in North Carolina. Just You guys are always so much happier in Texas anyway. Yeah, there's nothing here. I agree. That's why I didn't like I would. I wouldn't have come back this lifetime if it hadn't been Tommy won't be there at the time. Yeah, I remember that, yep. Well, so my mom. And let me be clear. I I don't know whether she had cancer or whether she had tummy tuck surgery. But I still stand on she's financially taking care of you and your child completely. I don't give a crap if she had a fucking ingrown toenail removed. If she's in a vulnerable state and needs help, that would be your time to step it up. You know what I mean? 
You know how Tommy feel about mama. He loves yeah. mama. Okay. So what's going on with you, baby? That's enough about me. I got your um, I got your card, but the only thing I was going to say, well, I know you've been busy, but if there's any way you could email to see if they could call me because I can't call them from these phones because it ain't private. Okay, okay, that's fine. So you got his name doing all. That's, that's my main concern. Yeah, I got the name, and then tomorrow I go to the hearing to, like, uh, to like release my attorneys. Um, so I go to that hearing tomorrow. Uh, so I doesn't have a, I think yesterday, but I had to get moved to tomorrow. Um, so I do that tomorrow, but then like, um, he could be able to call or whatever. It's just that I, if I call from these phones, it's not like, you know, privileged, you know what I mean? To like, to like, to like tell him, like have questions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You don't have that card right there handy, do you? It's right upstairs. Yeah. Why well, you need the number? Well. Well, I was going to tell you if I had the number, I could write it down. I could call him. Hold on. Uh, It'll only take me a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me the number. You still there? Oh, wow, Angel. I'm just holding. You're just holding, Aunt B. These lies. They're painful. Hey, little star. Okay, it's 954. 954. 716. 716. 7677. And um, when you said he called, sir, what are you supposed to tell him? He's what now? So, um, after tomorrow, well, tomorrow my counsel will be like released and then he can just call and say that he is calling about, um, talking to me about like certain things for representation or whatever. So she's releasing her counsel. Is she going to go pro se or who is this person that she's going to come on to try to do representation for her? And then um, he okay. just has to give him his name no. and stuff like that. Now, and he's going to call that same number I called to get hooked up to the phone line, right? Uh, no, he would actually call the, the facility. Um, let me ask Miss Robinson if she can tell me what it is. Hold on. Hmm. Maybe I'm... Maybe, yeah. Um, she said it's just the visitation number on the jail website. The visitation number? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then I can do that. Yeah, if you look on the I'll jail website, I have the different what numbers to call and make visitation. So he just would say that he yeah. um, he has, like, a, he's calling about a consultation or legal advice or whatever that I already know who he is or whatever. That way I can ask and, then them get up, and, then, and, then, and then they'll get up with you. Yeah, that way I can ask them questions in private instead of having a, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Kind of being recorded. I, I'll, 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 I'll take care of that just as soon as we get off the yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah, whenever. I know you got all that going on. And then um, I appreciate that. But I go to court tomorrow for to do that, to release those. But... Wow, so you have court the next day, and did you even mention any of that to Harley? Did you touch base with Harley? Tell her what to expect? It's not like this is not all over the news at this time, everywhere. But no, you talk about what time you ate, not getting water bottles, right? Because that's the important stuff. Oh God! I'll get all my stuff here. I guess I'll get. They'll give me all my stuff here somehow. But that'd be good. Don't think that's from today. Yeah, yeah, I got. We got that stuff from the iCloud. So that all that stuff from my, all that stuff on my iCloud, it'll, it'll pretty much, um, you know, it'll it'll prove me innocent. So, again, Letitia says. 
she has a second iCloud that contains all this evidence that's going to prove her innocence. Her, Edgar, and Al at the wine vineyards, Al with his threesomes and his, you know, cheating with the males and, and the murderer. Yet, spoiler alert, none of that existed. None of that existed. I've been trying to do a lot better now that I know I got all that stuff in my possession, you know? So. Mm. I hope the baby comes up. You got some people really pushing against you. I mean, I'm just being honest in that front, Reggie. Yeah, but I'm bringing people see, uh, people see actual evidence that exonerates somebody. They're not going to be like, oh, well, let's still, you know, charge her. Um, that's literally exactly what you got done explaining yesterday in yesterday's calls because you said they don't want to be wrong. They don't want to be wrong. So even if I had it, they're going to have a hard time admitting they were wrong. So she flips depending who she's talking to. Well, I'm just saying, you just, you just watch your P's and Q's and stuff for now and you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I know. So they're going to try to get you to get in more trouble, and you're already kind of, if, you know, you're in enough right now, but, you know, they're going to try to push you in doing other things you ain't got no business doing and stuff. So that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Well, plus, too, I'm not, not going to be that kind of stitch chamber, and that's too dangerous, and people end up dead, you know? Like, because... Someone already ended up dead. Cannon. And the way you minimize the loss of that baby boy. It's not about snitching. There's no one to snitch on. But Letitia has this endless excuse of she has to try to come up with something to her family and friends of what would be a legit reason not to just, if I was innocent, what would be a legit reason to not just say it, right? Just say the evidence, just show the evidence. So she has to make it seem like there's a severe risk and threat of others being killed if she speaks. Because that's the only thing that she could say that would somewhat make sense as to why she would choose to continue being charged with the murder of her stepson if she didn't really do it. Fuck, she snitches on people who didn't have anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. That's the bad thing about it. You're not going to be a snitch. So you know that's how how it is, especially dealing with a, a dangerous organization. You're not going to be a snitch, you know? So you got to just prove that you're not the one, you know? Yeah, but still, you, you, you still got to be careful because there's people in there that's going to try to get you to do stuff you ain't got no business doing just so, just so you'll get in trouble is what I'm yeah. saying. Oh, yeah, I agree. And, I and so that's what I'm saying. I so, your mama's sugar is real low. She had to go to the doctor the other day when she come up here at the house and check on me. I, like yeah. I said, it was a bad day. Sunday was a bad day. And her sugar got low. And um, she's still feeling bad, too. And she's got COVID, too? Ah, she's got a bad, she's got, she got, the doctor said it weren't COVID. She had pneumonia. Now oh, that, but then now she tested she positive for COVID now, just yesterday. What, did you talk to her? No, Harley said that uh, she sent her, that she told her she tested positive for COVID after she had a pneumonia. Well, now she could have, because yeah. see, that's that's what's happening. People's getting that COVID, and then yeah. they get pneumonia. Right, right. So yep. she, now that's that's, that's 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 yep, yeah, that's a possibility. Now that's why I I I've been trying to stay in contact with her, but not in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't need to get sick. Yeah. No, I I don't need to get no sicker than what I am. I'm, I'm yeah. sick enough. I'm 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 going through enough now, and you um. Know, my friend told me no. Hell yeah, please do. He said you're just going to have to, you know, 
I'm just going to have to deal with out. Yeah. Um, yeah, because if you got... You have one minute remaining. You can't be, you know, your stomach can't, you know, your immune system and all that gets weaker, you know? Yeah. Well, now your mom's really sick on top of it. Do you urge Harley to talk to her? Because up until now, you have told Harley you don't want her to have a relationship. You don't even want other family members to relay to your mom what's going on with you. But she's sick, really sick. Pneumonia, COVID. You're going to have your child check up on her? But anyway, I know you don't have that a minute. I know you got your books and stuff. I got to see you so much, more books. Do you have enough of hygiene money? Well, no, but I well, don't worry about it, Brittany. You're sick, right? You little manipulator. You know Aunt Brenda's going to fucking do it. That's why you called. Don't act like you haven't called her when she got the surgery. You haven't called her after the surgery. She's all the way to the point where the draining tubes are coming out. And now you call her and we're supposed to believe it's not because you're out of money. Money. Well, no, but I don't worry about it, Brittany. You're sick right now. I'll, I'll worry about it later. No, I, I I'll, um, no, I want to make sure you have some money. I'll send you a little piece of money, okay? Yeah, and hopefully I can get your the video thing settled for you soon so I can see you whenever you can. Okay, time. and I love but you, I know, darling. I know you're sick, so don't rush. All right, love you, too. All okay. right, all right, bye. Bye. But she knows Aunt Brenda's going to because Aunt Brenda's all on top of it, okay? That is why you called her. Because you've been talking shit about her to your child. Instead of being a good role model and being like, I know that it's difficult, X, Y, and Z, you know, like, but I want you to do this. You take care of family at the end of the day. She's taking care of you and your child. Like, so much to the point where Harley would not have a roof over her head if it wasn't for Aunt Brenda. Ooh, it makes me so mad. So the next call is with Harley and it's really quick. And then we have an unknown. So we'll listen to Harley, then we'll listen to the unknown. So this is Harley the same day, so she hangs up and goes Harley right back. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Amber uh, did those have stomach cancer. Cozy. What? Yeah, because when I was talking to her, because I wanted to see what she said about certain things, and then when she started telling me about the uh, the drills, <laughs> the holes drilled in her back Come here. and stuff like Come that, here. they don't do that with uh with just tummy tucks. She just <laughs> holds her body with the tummy tucks. Uh, well, why don't you tell me that? <laughs> Come on, Jan. Yeah, but I just thought I'd tell you that. So that doesn't uh, justify, you know, how she treats and stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you just. Oh, yeah. You know, so, just so you know, you might want to tell Julie that she told me that it was and that she just lied and told everybody it was a Toby Tuck. Just in mm -hmm. case. So then again, you know, Julie's smart enough to know she'll let she'll, Julia asked for paperwork. <laughs> Yeah, Julie's like me. She'd be investigative. But anyway, so I, just I thought I'd call you back and tell you that real quick, so that way you know to tell her. Talk to her, whatever. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, she said mom's mm -hmm. sugar is really low. That it's pretty low. It's pretty bad. So um, grandma. Yeah. So, so just check on her. Okay. Right. There you go. Love you so much, Gay. Stay strong. Bye. Let's all be over soon. And we'll, you know, God's got a good plan and I already know it. All right. That's Don't give your child false hope. Hey, Nick. Don't give your child false hope. Because this all won't be over soon. And God has a plan, but you definitely are not aware of what it is, Tisha, and that you're not going to even be held accountable truly until you're no longer on this earth. Again, keep in mind, she has court the following day. Is she going to mention it at all to Harley? No. That's why I'm not upset. You notice I don't be upset anymore. Okay. Okay. So you got to keep your okay. faith. 
Trust me. We got this. All right. Love you. Love you. All right. Bye. Have fun. Love the babies. Bye. Okay. Bye. So then she hangs up and she calls unknown. Now, the last couple of unknowns, it was the YouTuber Kit Kat. So let's see. She seemed pretty normal. Normal. Not crazy. Not no blood. We didn't hear about no blood or the vampires. So let's see. She hangs up. So this is the fourth call of the same day. Okay. It was when Harley stopped talking to Letitia around November, 2022. Once Letitia changed her filing to not guilty by reason of insanity. Hi, Laura. So these are four back-to-back calls. Okay. Harley, Aunt Brenda, Harley, and now Unknown. A link. Hey. Hey, Lucisa. How are you doing? I'm okay. I've had a bad few days. Girl, so I'll be okay. Me too. I feel you. Hey, can I ask you a question? I seen on the news, was it yesterday, the day before? Um, are you representing yourself in court? Yeah. Bam. So Kit Kat says, I see it all over the news, which I was just telling you guys, Harley would too. Harley would be seeing it everywhere. People would be asking Harley, what's going on with your mom? Did it... Have you heard Letitia speak to her child at all? Let her know what's going on? Nothing. But the YouTuber, I'm going to make sure to give her all the deets to relay back to the world. Before, um, are you representing yourself in court? Yeah, hold on. Seven, oh my seven. god, all right, thank you. All right, I'm back. Oh, I'm sorry, How you don't need to talk to me about it, okay? But I was just like in shock. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I got it, I got it all under control. No, you don't. <sighs> yep. Um, Are you going to be okay, though? I mean, is that the right decision? I don't know, because I'm not there, okay? But I just see them like, oh, no. Yeah, I got enough to exonerate me right now if I wanted to release it, but what's the point for him to kick it out? Ah! I'm sorry. What did you just say? Oh, my God. What did you just say? Did you say what? Bitch, you have enough to exonerate you right now? I'm sorry, what? What? What happened? You're riding in jail for the... You're riding in prison for the rest of your motherfucking life. Do not. Do not. Because she knows that this person's going to relay it again. Ooh, Tisha's got enough to... You know, deets in, inside uh, the jail. Tisha's got enough to exonerate her. She's dropping counsel. She's going pro se. No. But this is what makes this is what makes me fascinated with Letitia's brain. Okay. This is why I do this because I'm trying to understand she knows she's lying. She knows she's lying, but she's not just like talking shit. She's actually making the moves as if it is legit. You know what I mean? That's what blows my mind. She absolutely did drop counsel. Like she's doing it as if she has this exonerating evidence when she doesn't. And so like, wh why would you do that? Why would you do that? Like, you know, when you cross that line, it's all going to come out that you don't have it. So what were you relying on? Tisha, because she's saving lives. She she's actually willing to sacrifice her own to save other people's lives that are in danger if she puts out this exonerating evidence. Yeah, I got enough to exonerate me right now if I wanted to release it, but what's the point for him to kick it out, you know? Okay. So, but yeah, so I got it under control. Okay, that's, that's all. Yeah. I was just in shock and like, no, no. 
<laughs> listen to me. No. Yeah, they don't. They don't have my other iCloud, and that's I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. But did you really figure it out, Letitia? No. Yes. No, no, sir. Tony, Jan, John, no, no. No, you didn't. You you didn't have anything figured out, Letitia. There is no other iCloud. None. Oh, thank you, Carrie Beth. Carrie Beth just sent a $20 super sticker. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much, Carrie. I, I'm just... <laughs> Poor Tisha. I'm just blown away. I'm blown away. They don't have my other iCloud. It's the fucking FBI. You think that if you had another fucking iCloud, and I'm sorry to curse. I'm so sorry to curse. But you think if they had another iCloud, they wouldn't have been able to figure it out? John Grusing wouldn't have been able to peanut up the butter it out? Give me a break. They don't, they don't have my other iCloud and that's, I figured it out <laughs> once I figured it out. Cause the whole time I've been sitting here wondering what the hell, why am I still being held here? But they don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, anyway, so how's your dad? Um, um, he's had a rough couple of days. Um, he's been really sick, not getting up. Um, I think maybe also the fear is hitting him now. He's been yeah. trying to put on a happy face, you know? Yeah. But, you know, next Whoa. week is when we start the treatment. Our whole life's going to change. Wait. I know. I talk Wait. Sorry. Hold on. This is Aunt Katrina? Hold on. I just dropped everything. I got so shooketh. This is not Aunt Katrina. This is Aunt Katrina? I did not. This is opposite. Of, I am so bad when I imagine somebody because this is opposite of how I imagine Aunt Katrina. No, not who she's talking to. Sorry, guys. I opened up the email. Someone sent me a photo. Sorry. Let me let me clarify. I was sent a photo of Aunt Katrina, but this isn't the Aunt Katrina I imagined. So no, I refute this. No, this is not Aunt Katrina. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. I object. Any objection? All objections. This is not you. Do you guys remember how I described Aunt Katrina to you in my head a moment ago? Do you remember? It was just about 30 minutes ago. I said she was tall. <laughs> I said she was tall, a mid size, a little chunk with short, kinky, curly hair that is blonde. <laughs> well, I, I'm telling you guys now. Never rely on my descriptions ever again, okay? Don't do it because this is handkerchief. <laughs> this is apparently Aunt Katrina. Are you ready? Yeah, and a red sweater. Well, the sweater wasn't the only thing that was off. I, what? This sweater is blue. She she has a popped collar. I didn't imagine a popped collar. Or glasses. I was really wrong. I don't know, Amelie. I don't know. It was just my brain. No, I am not sure. I was sent this, and I'm trying to zoom up on the name, and I think it does say Katrina. I could definitely see a K. So I don't, allegedly this is Aunt Katrina. But not what I imagined. I gotta stop going off of my... Yeah, this is literally the opposite. <laughs> Everything. Short, kinky, curly hair, long Dark black straight hair, red sweater, blue sweater with a popped collar. She's younger than I thought. I knew she was younger. I knew she was younger, but I didn't imagine her younger. 
I don't know. I am I am not good with this stuff. Go back to Letitia's manipulating. Next week is when we start the treatment. Our whole life's gonna change. I know. I talked to you, I just talked to my aunt, found out she's got stomach cancer. Oh. And my mom had pneumonia, now she's got COVID and her Well, and I and I jumped and I just messed up the time. But what the fuck's wrong with you, Letitia? Aunt Brenda didn't even tell family. Why would you do that? Hold on, let me find the spot. Had pneumonia. No, oh, perfect. Got... That's messed up. Aunt Brenda didn't even tell. Hey, LFT. Aunt Brenda did not even tell family. She literally said, it's, it's nobody's business. I don't want anyone to know. There's nobody's business. And you can give a shit less about your mom. You don't even want anyone to relay anything to her. And now you're putting her business out as if it's supposed to get you sympathy. But that was really messed up to even repeat that if Aunt Brenda didn't want anyone to know. She's got stomach cancer. And my really? mom Mom's had pneumonia. Now she's got COVID and her sugar, she has diabetes and her sugar's really low. And so, you know, that, mm -hmm. that, that. And then I don't, you know, got my... I got my my child here in Florida that I you now I'm just now getting to talk to him here at the Oh Oh I forgot She has a son in Florida Do you guys remember Letitia claims that she has a child, a son, who lives in Florida. She doesn't really have a son. This is a fake son. So for anybody who's like, what? If anybody, if anybody is over here like, ah, this isn't a legit son. It's a fake son. You know, I got my, I got my, my child here in Florida that I, you know, I'm just now getting to talk to him here at the jail. So, you know, this is a lot. Well, he, he's, he's there, you know, and then Harley's in South Carolina and then he's there, you know. No, we don't know. Another child? Yours? Yeah. Did Angel have her baby? <laughs> it's a long story, girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a long story, girl. <laughs> AKA, I haven't thought of it yet. <laughs> I, I can't tell you the deets on it because I haven't written it down to make sure I keep it consistent. Okay. Okay. Okay, Tisha. And Angel, if you don't remember from Letitia's interrogation when she was arrested with Grusing, Angel is the one who she was having a threesome with on that app and rode away with Gannon because... She got in and him was supposed to have a play date. Remember? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. He's 15. 15? You, and you are willing to have this YouTuber come out and blast this, right? And have your daughter... Your fucking daughter. Believe she has a brother. Do you... Uh, nice that Harley won't really remember if she recalls you being pregnant, given that she would have been two to three years old. 
She wrote it in a letter. She she mentioned it a few times, JMs. She did. Oh, oh, wow. That's going to be emotional then. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah, I'm going through it too, you know, but I'll go get in, I'll go get in the word later and I'll get in the spirit and the scripture for the rest of the day. And I'll try to talk to some people, you know, well, I still get in trouble for talking, but I'll need to, you know. <laughs> what, you can't talk to anybody now? Oh, God, every time I talk, I get in trouble. Yeah. Why? Just... <laughs> that, that's a human right, right? No, they said they didn't. Well, I asked yesterday when the lady came up to me, and I said, do you think this is, like, mentally okay? And she said she doesn't worry about mental health, so. Huh? You asked... Is this mentally okay, like, for me to talk? And she responded, oh, we don't worry about mental health here. Why would it be mentally not okay to talk? And you never got in trouble for talking, not once. Unless you were inciting hate and screaming and stuff like that. But just talking? No. Talk away. Oh, my dear Lord. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all right, you know. Good night, All you can do in that situation is, you know, the same people that stand up and praise and worship God on Sundays, you know, are the same people that are the ones that come in here and persecute you the most, you know. No. Yeah. So that, that's, the, that's the hard part of it. It's just like looking at them like, apparently you're not, you're not, you're not following the same God I follow because. That's just not how we treat people, you know. But yeah. That's fine, though. When it's all said and done, you know, I'll still, I'll still hang my head high and, and have respect for him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So that's what's going on. And then I got one Are of you my... Crying? Well, it was just a lot because, like, I tried to call... I tried to talk to him, and I talked to him yesterday, and his dad is being, like, pissing me off <laughs> and then you know and then i want to call my mom but yeah, my mom hasn't I've really had the greatest like you know relationship you know about that you want to call your mom really oh that's completely opposite of what you've been saying up until now you don't even want anyone else to relate to your mom any of your and harley's business right anytime harley even refers her you'd be like huh, yeah not not a, you know not really like you had a relationship, right? God, I hate her. Uh, yeah, yeah, you told me about it. Yeah, and so, but at the end of the day, it's still your mom, you know? Yeah, um, did you say your grandma's got cancer, right? No, my aunt, she's got stomach cancer. Oh, your aunt, okay. Yeah, so she's that's the one that's like been the most supportive to me, you know, and, or, uh, you know, oh, like, that's like growing up and stuff like that, you know. But my dad, her. um, my dad's grandma had stomach cancer. That was awful. Yeah, and she just had surgery, and then you know my uncle, which was her husband, died uh, a couple years ago, like two or three years ago, and I took that pretty hard because he was like a dad to me, you know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so she's really at home by herself without anybody helping her. And, you know, it's all awful because. I could be there, you know? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm just oh, there. I thought the phone hung up. Oh, no, no, no. Just saying I could be there, you know, but it is what it is, you know? Apparently, God thinks I'm like uh, this strong warrior here. I really, I've never, I don't even know how to compare Letitia to, I've never, I've just never seen this before. And I really want someone professional who's far more educated and experienced to explain to us how did she think this was going to work? 
or does she not think ahead and then just like the next time you think of another lie and another lie and a, but how did she think it was going to get her out of murder right nobody thinks you're a fucking warrior so when you go back to court again i think tomorrow oh okay yeah tomorrow is for my hearing to release my attorney oh my god really yeah well that's gonna be all over the news you know that right oh yeah yeah I'm, you know because I, I i oh yeah 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 but I just keep talking to my child about how much fur comes off when you brush the dog and, and how I don't have the ability to have water bottles, you know. I don't at all discuss with her what's going on and prepare her or answer her any questions or reassure her. It's all, you're damn right, it was all over the news. I had no clue until, um, was it was Colorado Station was it? I don't know, talked about that um, you can represent yourself, you know? Yeah. That's how I found out. Well, I don't believe it until I talk to you. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I mean... No, now know, I believe it. Everything, uh, everything people try to make this about, you know, some fame and stuff like that, you know, and that's okay. They let them do that. You know, the Bible talks a lot about that, you know, and it talks about people who they're just miserable with themselves and you know that type of thing they try to use social media and things like that to, to damage others or talk junk you know and I was reading that in my daily bread the other day and it made, made complete sense and I was like you know I don't worry about that stuff anymore it used to bother me but if I wanted to right now I could release something that would be whatever but I'm not stupid because I'm not going to have it you know deleted from anything to do with a trial you know what i mean no that literally makes no sense how would it be stupid to release exonerating evidence to your lawyers to the court to the prosecutor any everyone hello i'm not the right one that means that there's a murderer on the loose of children go and capture them how is that the stupid like this is why everyone is always like huh when they're speaking on the phone with leticia because she acts like it's the right answer yet it's not the right answer so i just said yeah. just be just just every day with jesus you know that's how it is some days are tough like some days i don't even know who i am but then i get through it through the day you know you've been through a lot, I can tell you that much. You know, yeah. like I said, um, I try to show people the Leticia I know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But no one believes me, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't even worry about those people, man. Those people, that's the thing, is like, <clears throat> it's just going to be a slap in the face to see something, and I just wish I could do it right now, but I can't. Because I ain't going to dare have something be, not be able to be used. You know what I mean? No, again, how would handing over to your lawyers exonerating evidence going to prevent it from being used? Just because you add, you know what I mean, at the end of what you're saying doesn't make it any less bullshit. But God knows every day I think about it, but then I have to have that patience in my mind to be like, all right, don't, you, you can't, you can't do something to appease the people because to show someone something, they would dismiss that person as a lunatic. Like I told you, you know, they would say, oh, this person's yeah. a lunatic, you know, and then they'd be like, because to admit they're wrong, that it's an unlawful incarceration would be to admit they're wrong. So it's just, you have to just, uh, not pray for patience because you're not supposed to pray for patience. Last but you have to have it and just sit back and be like, "Oh my gosh, just I cannot wait." You know, but it'll be. Well, all that's good. a tough thing to do, you know. Have yeah. patience. Yeah, but but I'm a hundred percent confident in it because I know. You, you shouldn't be a hundred percent confident, but you want to know who had to practice patience, not you, Letitia. 
Gannon's parents, grandparents, Gannon's sister. They had to practice patience because it was a while before they actually got their baby justice. And they'll continue to practice patience. You want to know why? Because they still don't know 100% what happened to their son. Gannon's story is not fully known and it will never be. And that's, I can't, that's so horrific to do. Because as horrible of a truth it is, it's still his truth. And it deserves to be known so he can finally rest and you could be held accountable the way you need to be held accountable because what you fully did and have done would be in the spotlight. But saying you're a hundred percent confident, that's terrifying. Yeah, but, but I'm a hundred percent confident in it because I know better. So that's the difference and some of these people in here that are waiting some of these big trials because, you know, they're searching for this type of deal and these type of things and all that. And I'm over there like, heck no, nah, man. <laughs> like if only I could just show you a few things, but I can't, you know, that's just how in my mind. after every day in anxiety. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be all right. Well, I just want to check in with you. I got to go. Uh, I got to go lock down because... You're on your I, I talked to Harley for a while, and then my aunt, the one the cancer, I talked to her for a little bit to see how she was doing and stuff like that. But, um, well, I'm keeping my friends, man. Oh, thank you. You too. I just want to let you know what you're going to do. It's supposed to start soon, so I'll call you back next week to check on you. Yeah, it starts next, I think, Wednesday. Okay, I'll keep you in my prayers. Well, thank you for thinking about us. Oh, yeah, yeah. And your mom, too. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll listen to one more. Uh, for tonight and then tomorrow for members only Monday, we'll finish out February because there'll be three same length calls actually um, left in February. And so we'll listen to this next one, which is Amy Lang. And then we have three remaining uh, in February. So we'll do those tomorrow, which will be Amy B, Aunt Brenda and Harley. Each of them is like about 15-ish minutes, actually. So this one is on February 26th. So the next day, the same day she has court with nasally Amy Lang. Sorry, not trying to be mean, but Amy Lang. 7.50. No, no, I'm sorry. 7.22 p.m. So this would have been after court. On February 26th. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey. Hey, what's up? It's not too late, is it? Oh, no. She, I was sitting outside of the couch just BSing with my husband. <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my head is hurting so bad. I feel like I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Why, what's wrong? <laughs> I just haven't eaten days and I haven't slept in days and I'm just running off and nothing left. Now, Tisha, it's not right to literally start the first five seconds of a call lying. Now you haven't eaten in days and you haven't slept in days yet. Did you mention that at all on any of the four calls yesterday or the day before? You haven't eaten in days, girl? Shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, did, you, did it go to it today? It, no, I, I heard it was today, but I didn't hear what happened. I'll be asking how that went. What? You didn't even see what happened. <laughs> You know, because every innocent person who's being charged with murder would giggle and laugh their ass off when it came to, you didn't hear what happened at court today. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words. Dude, like, huh. <laughs> now I'm interested in what happened. <laughs> girl, that's so, too much to explain, huh. They were drilling me hard on it, but yeah, so I, they released the attorneys and gave me like oh, wow. an advisory counsel. 
advisor counselor, oh, advisory yeah. counselor to help me. <sighs> Are you ready for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for that. Like I, that's that's cool. I just um. So I was wondering if you could do me a favor real quick. If I give you this yeah. name, can you can you Google real quick and see if it says this person uh, was arrested? I can. I'm on Google right now. What's the name? Okay. Bitch, let me get my Google out. Hold on. Google this person's name and see if they were arrested. Okay. So we don't have newspaper here anymore because, you know, they have all these tablets. And so I don't know. Yeah. But it's Emma, E-M-M-A. Because, you know, they have all these tablets. And so I don't know. Yeah. But it's Emma, E-M-M-A. If you put it, it should come up in a national search and then Cordon, C O R. I think she, I think she spells it C O R A D O N E or C O R D O N. Miema? Miema? Did she wrote Miema? M I E M M A? Miema? Well, my Google, the extent of my Google searches doesn't go far. MMA. If you have all these tablets, and so I don't know. Yeah. But it's Emma E M M A. M I E M M A. Miema. I only see Emma, 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 Emma. No Miyama. If you put it, it should come up in a national search and then Cordon, C O R. I think she I think she spells it C O R A D O N E or C O R D O N E. It should come right up and just put like arrested. Uh it should be right. national news. Arrested. If it's true, it should be national news. Uh, it didn't come right up for me. All right, whatever. It was the wife of El, Ch El Chapo. Oh, shit. Was she? Arrest oh, you little sneaker, Runu. <laughs> no, she didn't. I even fell for it. You sneaker, Stop it. El Tisha, you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I I feel stupid. You little, oh man. Oh, you little <laughs> Tisha. It was the wife of El, Chap El Chapo. <laughs> oh shit, was she arrested on drug trafficking? Yep. Where is it at? Was it Washington, D.C.? Oh, let me see. I'm clicking on now. It was four days ago. How many? How long? Four, what? It was four days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you repeat that? So Make sure that they got that recorded. Making connections. You know what I mean? Make sure... Hello, who? 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 Oh, it's Chapo's wife. No way. No way. Okay. All right. How many? How long? Four, what? It was four days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just so someone like mouthed it, mouthed it to me today, and I was like, oh shoot! And I tried to, I tried to call E's phone, but I couldn't get him. Yeah, I'm sorry. E. Edgar, Gannon's murderer. Why would you? Why are you acting like one? He exists, and two that you would be on good terms with him. Where you would be calling him and being like, yo, El Chapo's wife, yo. Someone mouthed that to you, bitch. You audibly spoke it and I couldn't even understand while typing it out into Google. But someone mouthed that to you and you fucking read it via mouth movement? No. No. And I tried to, I tried to call E's phone, but I couldn't get him. Yeah, I'm trying to see... I didn't say where. I didn't know she was arrested and why, but I didn't say where at. 
It is, is it safe she's still being held? Um, let's see. She had an initial appearance at federal court on Tuesday via video conference. So it looks like she's still in. But I'm going to go check out another <gasps> source here. Give me one second. Yeah, she's still locked up. Yeah, because they're not going to give her a bond. Oh, oh yeah, I don't... God, I got to I gotta talk to E on this one. Oh, I'm so embarrassed for you. I'm so embarrassed for you. How, how did you think this was going to work? That's hysterical, Robin. <laughs> but how did you think that was going to work? Oh, I got to talk to E on this one, you know, because this is all part of some big cartel situation, right? Edgar, he's got to know. He's got to know, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't... God, I got to talk, talk to E on this one. Well, I tried to call, but I couldn't get him. And I was like, oh, I couldn't get him yesterday because I have to call, you know, like differently from here. Yeah. And I, I couldn't get him. I couldn't get him again. But... Mm. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> Yeah. That's not good, is it? <laughs> you take the first name Emma off and put Angel, Angel Cardone. Yeah, yeah. Don't fall for it, Melissa. <clears throat> Mexican drug lords brazen tunnel escape. Hold on. Yes. Stop it, Tisha. Okay, same last name you said? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, how'd you spell that again? C-O... I think it's, it's... I can't remember. It's C-O-R-A-D-O-N-E or C-O-R-D-O-N-E. I never get them Spanish names, man. I've been around them all my life, but they all sound the same. Nothing, nothing comes up under that name. Okay, okay. Because that's, that's I C O R. That's C O R D O N E and C A R D. Did she say that's Angel? That's Angel? What'd you say? That's I said C O R D O N E and C A R D O N E, but nothing came up. How is uh, Emma spelled? Is C O R D O N E for Emma's? Mm -hmm. Let me see how we, let me see how to type that in. Hold on. They spell it as C O R O N E L. Oh, well, the Spanish way. I see it. I yeah, spell it the American way. <laughs> so let me try to... Okay, hold on. So I changed it to the other one. So you said Angel. Let's see if that works. No, nothing about an angel. Okay. But when you when you type in that name, Angel, with the same last name, it brings up all the articles for um, El Chapo and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right. I, how would that be funny? Girl, if you were innocent, this is still, again, I don't understand how brain doesn't process this. Let's say everything you're saying is true and you were innocent and you didn't murder Gannon. How would that be funny? Like, wouldn't you be, you're saying the danger is so high and extreme. Where, Where is that in your voice, when you're talking about this and you're laughing about this, you're laughing because it's Duper's delight. You're feeding this to Amy, knowing she's going to Google it, knowing it's going to pop up with the cartels as if it's some something connected to your case. And it's not. That's Angel. I'm making sure she's about to start selling some of my shit right now. But so I guess she's not incarcerated. Oh yeah, no, nothing, nothing coming up for her name. So, oh, shit. Is, 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 um, is that, is yes. that who I think it is then? No, yes. shit, are you serious? Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So you, okay. I, wow. I wonder, oh, my. The, I wonder who's got the twins. Cause, um, they got twins and I'm sure there's somebody's got them. I mean, this, I mean, it'd be, freaking made the Forbes list. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. They got, God. Holy crap, girl. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't me. So, I don't snitch. And <laughs> I... I... 
I hope that even fucking around with the cartels and throwing their shit around there as if you had any involvement, I hope, I hope you get what's coming. I really do. Cause even fucking lying like you are and acting like you have involvement, it's not going to fly. Oh my God. It wasn't me. I didn't snitch. Bitch, you know shit. Me. So I don't snitch. And <laughs> I, I don't snitch. <laughs> and, mm. Wow, that's, um. <laughs> yes. that's, that's intense. By the way, I think the video chat that you requested earlier, I think it, they approved it. Oh, DJ, let me look. Hold on. And then Amy records the chats. Okay, it's not the ring, okay? Okay. If that's okay, tell your husband I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. You say the video okay. game. good. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Oh, I hate her. So then I guess she hangs up and calls Amy, but they didn't talk for that long because she calls Amy B., no, they must have not got on the call because she then calls Amy Bolton right back. So I hate her. I, I, I really do. I hate her. Um, and I know that's not educational commentary, but there's just I, how she thought this was going to work. I just really wish I could crawl into it. No, I don't want to crawl into her brain. That must be terrifying. But just to see how is one plus one equaling two hearing like it, it just doesn't you're in the negatives but you think it's gonna work i don't know but all right so we have three calls left for february amy b which is gonna take place right as she hangs up with amy lang um and so that's what we're gonna pick up tomorrow for members only monday and then aunt brenda and then harley and then february is done and we're moving on to March. Um, and so it'll be moving on to the one year anniversary of her getting arrested, which is a good anniversary. Um, but all right, guys, thank you all so much for being here with me. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for anybody who had gifted memberships or sent a super chat. Your support is so greatly appreciated. I look forward to seeing all of the members tomorrow night. Uh, and so I hope you have the rest of your night, which is going to be wonderful. Hold your loved ones close and I will talk to you all soon.